Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I am so excited in my spirit man right now. Let me tell you what we're going to share with you today is just, uh, I, I pray that it shifts you at it, as it has shifted me into a place of praise. Uh, it has ignited my faith. Let me tell you something. On yesterday, I was talking to my mom, uh, Pastor Valerie Wilson, and uh, she shared something with me, and 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 that was on yesterday. But I want to tell you that today it has, uh, this afternoon it has grabbed my spirit like never before, and it has shaken me, and it has propelled me and repositioned my faith. Yesterday she said something to me, and it was so profound. She uh, she said that God said to her, "Will you trust me?" God said to her, will you trust me? And and that was yesterday. And, you know, uh, this morning, uh, uh, you know, just yet meditating on some other things and, and keeping some things in prayer, you know, every day. Every second of the day, something is going on upon the earth, and 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 sometimes when it hits close to home, uh, listen, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, we are shaken. We are, and and uh, I had prayer this morning with one of our partners in prayer, my beloved sister prophetess Melissa Kelly, and. And, you know, that prayer was just so dynamic. We were touching and agreeing on some things. But as I was just going back over the word and I went over to uh, Zechariah and, and looking at how Joshua the priest was redressed and how uh, God, Jesus was presenting him before the Father and Satan was there also to accuse him. And then I was taken over to Hebrews where it says, Without faith it is impossible to please God, but he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And as I was meditating on that word, the, the, the conversation from my mom came back from yesterday. And it was just that portion of it, will you trust me? And let me tell you something, the more I begin to let that word, let that question ring high in my spirit, let me tell you something, it shifted me into a place to say, yes, I will trust you, Lord. Listen, will you trust him today with the this? And so as I begin to continue to think about uh, will I trust him? Then the question came, will you trust him with this? It does not matter what the this is. Will you trust him with this? And so look over what is going on with you right now. One particular thing and say, yes, I will trust you with this. As we begin to receive in our spirit, man, the trust in him knowing that God is God is able yes this particular situation I declare and I decree that I trust you with this then you will begin to see a manifestation of the breakthrough oh as you begin to trust him with this it does not matter what the this is trust him with it and so listen I don't want you to have a whole list of things because God is able to do all I want you to get the this I want you to get this one particular thing and I want you to say I trust you with this trust that he is able to deliver trust that he is able to heal trust that he is able to restore I know that there are a lot of things that are on your list of petitions, but this one particular thing, this one thing of urgency that has pushed itself to the forefront of your plate, listen, this that I'm talking about, it supersedes all other things. I know that there are other things that are on your plate, but something has hit your uh, your ground, something has hit your household, and, and it is it is superseding over all of the other things and that is 
the this that I need you to say yes I will trust you with this uh, listen this isn't something that uh, you've been uh, 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 looking over uh, for a very long time this particular thing it jumped ahead all of the other things and and it has overtaken all of the other things that have been placed in your lap and so yes you got to trust him with the this you got to trust him with the this that is on your mind right now that is plaguing you right now in the mighty name of Jesus I connect my faith with yours I believe that it is so listen that question uh, I, I, I know that it was given to the woman of God but I have grabbed hold of it and I, and I have applied it to me I, and I'm sharing with those who he would have me to share it with. And so as that word was staring in my belly, uh, I began to write and I began to dispatch it to different individuals. And now I bring it to you. Uh, for those who are here on our platform, uh, will you trust him with the this? It does not matter what the this is. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it does not matter what it is. And, and I'm typing this in uh, what it is. It, 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 it doesn't matter what it is. We just have to trust Him. We just have to trust Him. Begin to trust God. That is your faith. Um, we just have to uh, trust God, have faith uh, in God, have faith in Him, that He is a rewarder for those who diligently uh, seek Him. Uh, he will reward you, but you got to trust Him. Uh, we are reminded in the Word of God that without faith, it is impossible to please him that's right without faith it is impossible to please him and that is over in the book of Hebrews um, the 11th chapter and so I'm going to go over there and I encourage you to go over there as well to God be the glory for all of the great and wonderful things that he is doing at this time Hebrews the 11th chapter and the 6th verse it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so this verse is teaching us three very important things first of all but without faith it is impossible to please him that is one Number two, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Number three, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Oh God, that's just good. That is just good in my spirit. That is just, oh, that is just good. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God. Oh God, that is just ringing in my spirit. God is good. He is good all the time. Let me tell you something. I am so excited. I know, listen, yesterday I told you that the word revival has been ringing in my spirit and it is continuing to ring in my spirit. I have some exciting news for you. Uh, one of the prophetess who I shared uh, on yesterday about... Um, uh, you know the invitation to invite those believers uh, to return back to the Word of God uh, she's going to share with me some details about a time of prayer 72 hours of prayer and so she's going to share with me those details when it's going to start and I'm going to share that information with you and so listen you are invited to join in on this time of prayer it is time that we come together united in the spirit of faith oh God is God is God is I believe lesson we are in a revival it is a spiritual revival 
It is not limited to the structured walls, but it is a spiritual revival that is meant to release until the ends of the earth. Oh, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so as we are in preparation, oh my God. God, oh my God, as we are in preparation for this hour of prayer, listen to me. Get the this. The this. Will you trust him for the this? Oh God, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Listen, before I forget, I am uh, so honored to share with you the official um uh, launch opening of Be Limitless Church this Sunday, September the 26th at 10 a.m. located in Riverview, Florida. It is being held at Escape Theaters Riverview 14. The address is 6135 Valleydale Drive, Riverview, Florida 33578. Please, please, please keep this ministry in your prayer. We thank God for our open door that he has given unto the shepherds of this house. And we pray uh, that uh, every obstacle is moved out of the way so that the release of the Holy Spirit can flow through this ministry to reach the audience that they are supposed to reach. To God be the glory he is worthy to be praised also as a reminder on uh let me see there are some breast cancer awareness shirts that are available by Wyina Bailey this information is on uh my personal facebook page uh as we know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is next month, the month of October. And so, Wyana is a author. She uh, does own a salon in Tampa, Florida. And the information uh, is on my personal Facebook page. The name of the salon is Royal Tea Hair Studio. Reach out to this awesome, awesome uh, entrepreneur, this woman of God. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing um, breast cancer awareness shirts and also let me see what else do we have on our page we do have on our page imagine me creations a uh, one-of-a-kind arts by one of our partners in prayer uh, listen she is a prophetess a true woman of God the founder of you'll overcome ministries uh, she is an author Oh God, so many hats, awesome woman of God, a prayer warrior, intercessor, and she also has Imagine Me Creations. So uh, these items, I actually have one of these customized items myself. Uh, I have a clock that uh, I said to her one day, I'm looking for an odd clock. And uh, listen, I just told her my colors and she wanted to know a few more details and she created it just for me if you're interested in taking a look at what God has gifted this woman of God with you can visit it on Instagram there is also a Facebook page for imagine me creations or feel free to go over to her Facebook page at you'll overcome dot com I pray that your spirit has been shifted oh god that it has been shifted 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 in the atmosphere uh hebrews 11 and 6 is teaching us so very much um and so i i just love to share um what it is that he's teaching god teaches us he he's still speaking and and so as we gain into what he is teaching us, we definitely want to share it with you. So here is what Hebrews 11 and 6 is teaching us. First, without God, without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's number one. Number two. Uh, for he that believeth 
uh, let me let me I'm going text by text so he that cometh um, to God must believe that he is okay that is number two Oh, it's teaching that the, the scripture text is definitely teaching number three uh, um, he is a rewarder for those that diligently so there's a way that we have to seek him now begin to trust him for the now oh god it, it it's it's for the this uh no matter what the this is just begin to trust him and you know i got to clean this up uh because we, you know we're writing uh, uh i'm on the air um let me see. Uh, so I got to make sure that my grammar is correct. Um, you know, we we got to be correct. So it says here, and I'm putting this up on my per personal Facebook page, and I'll definitely uh, share it on the Balance of Lives page as well. So don't worry, uh, you will not be left out by any means. Hebrews 11 and six is teaching us so very very much it really is it, it, it's teaching us three very very important things uh, first of all it's teaching us how to please God and then it, it tells us that we must come to him so that's the most important thing but without faith it is impossible to please him um, also, it says, for he that cometh to God. So we have to come to God. That's where we have to come to. Um, and also, uh, we must be, uh, we. So let me take my time. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Um, and so that's, that's actually four points, but I'm not going to uh, divide that one again. So this is how uh, it, it's just ringing in my spirit that we need to trust him for the now he is a rewarder of them that diligently so it tells me how I have to do it seek him okay so that's what we want to share with you today listen God is good he is worthy to be praised I am excited about the Word of God God is good so begin to trust him um, tr begin to trust him for the now I don't for for the this trust him for and I'm saying the this simply because it doesn't matter what the this is it doesn't matter it begin, just begin to trust him. It does not matter what the this is. What I feel in my spirit is something has propelled itself to the forefront of your mind. You've had a petition. There has been a petition made. And, and something has propelled itself to the forefront of everything else on your petition. And that is the this. Now... Align yourself with the Word of God. Remember yesterday we talked about realigning? <laughs> Align yourself with the Word of God. What does God say? So there are several uh, scripture texts that will align you with what we're sharing with you today. First of all, believing that God is. So let's visit Second Chronicles 7th chapter and the 14th verse. Let's align ourselves with that. Align yourself with the Word of God. I am so excited. God is good. And, and I could have just taken off and run as this is hitting my spirit. So first of all, 
we have our faith we believe that God is we believe that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life that is our belief that is our faith second chronicle 7 14 says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land okay so align yourself up with that now come on over to hebrews 11 and 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him listen there is a now now faith that's Hebrews 11 and 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen there is a this the word that came forth yesterday that was shared with me from Pastor Wilson was will you trust me ask yourself as a believer as a faithful believer knowing that God is he is he is our father which is in heaven he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life there is a this I don't know what the this is and to be honest with you I don't want to know what the this is you know what the this is you know what has pushed itself to the forefront of your petition oh god i feel that in my spirit you know what has pushed itself to the forefront of your petition of your prayer request you know you know what it is i declare and decree if you begin to put your trust in god have faith Oh, that you will begin to receive a breakthrough in your spirit man today. You must first believe that God is. There is an urgency. I feel it so compelling in my spirit. There is an urgency in the atmosphere today. There, this is the release of the answer this is a release to the answer that if you would trust him with this that is the answer for someone who has been seeking him concerning the this here is the answer will you trust him God is asking you will you trust me with this God is asking will you trust me with this oh god that is awesome what a wonderful word uh once again do not forget to visit us on our website www.angelfergusonministries.com via the website you have the opportunity to check out uh many features bible study teachings uh, our life applications our curriculum that we offer as well as our contact information if you have a community event that you would like to share with us uh, your ministry please feel free to email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com once again if you have a ministry or a community event such as back to school uh, giving to the homeless feeding the hungry uh, or if you would just like for us to make mention of your ministry's location and the services all you have to do is email us at the balance of life one at yahoo.com I don't know about you but I am excited you ever get excited about what God is doing do you ever get excited about uh, just hearing uh, the a refreshing oil a, a replenishment uh, 
to your answered prayers and requests. And so what we are releasing unto you today is a question. And I thank the woman of God for sharing it with me. I must call her and let her know, oh, the release that has hit my spirit by that question, by that phrase, will you trust me? Will you trust me? And so he has expanded it to say, will you trust me with this? Something has advanced itself to the forefront of your petition and I declare and I decree today by the authority of the Holy Spirit that rests and rules ab and abides in me if you would trust him with this oh God that's where your breakthrough is but I want you to get that one thing it's a this and take one thing at a time. Let 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 me. Uh, there's another area of scripture uh, where it's uh, and it's over in uh, it's over in Joel. Let's go over to Joel. Jo not Joel. It's not Joel. It's Job. Let's go over to Job. Oh, this is good. This is okay. And and listen, I go over to Job and my Bible goes directly to it. Job 22nd chapter. And I want to start at the 26th verse. It says, For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. And thou shalt decree, thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Amen. So, decree. That is the this. You know what the this is. You don't have to go and share the this with anybody. You know what the this is. Something that has propelled itself. That has pushed itself to the forefront. Of your petition. Trust God. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what was said. I don't care. I don't care. God said, will you trust me with this? Trust that I know what is best for you. And so as I was meditating on that, let me tell you how good this got in my spirit. Even when I can't get an understanding and even when I don't know, he has done and orchestrated things that has been best for me. When I submitted myself unto him as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is my reasonable service, when I said, Lord, have your way, and I literally stepped aside so he can have his way, when I took my hands off of a situation and I relinquished it totally over to him, and I said, Lord, have your way, and I just began to thank him, in advance for what he was going to do I thank him in advance for what he's already done and I leave it there and I just begin to trust him I, I, I'm no longer asking him to do it I know that he will do it I'm thanking him in advance I know that what he is doing is the best for me God wants the best for you. I believe it. I stand on it. I bet my bottom dollar on it. We go through some things that yes, they have hurt us. And they have traumatized our flesh. But in the end, God knows what is best for you and I. So I need you to trust him with this this it's a this I need you to trust him why don't you worship the Lord our God today he is worthy to be praised 
worship him he is worthy to be adored I need you to get it on your mind in the forefront and I need you to trust him like never before have a blessed day everyone we love you